Today we're going to talk about the capabilities of our test lab here in Exton, the different pieces of equipment that we have to test with, the different accessories that we have, and the different types of products we can handle. We're going to start with the servo auger filler, which is the workhorse of our lab here at Allfill. Uh, it can accommodate products from non-free-flowing powders, such as like a cornstarch, to free-flowing granules, such as quinoa, uh, whole bean coffee, products along those lines, anything in between. It can, in some cases, accommodate creams and liquids using a Moino pump assembly and various cutoffs. Uh, we can even handle, on occasion, products that have a little more of a particulate to it that would, you would consider to be a wet product, such as a, like a dog food pate, certain salads, such as like like a, like a chicken salad, depending on the particulate size. Those are pretty custom applications that we'll take a look at on a case-by-case -case basis, but we have done it with this type of machine. This unit overall is probably about 80% of the testing that we do here for a majority of applications. This is our Model 305 piston filler. For a majority of liquids, this is the unit we're gonna turn to. This is a semi-automatic system using a foot switch to initiate the fills. Essentially, you have a large hopper, a cavity, which is our piston, a rotary valve, and one of a various set of cutoffs that we have that we'll determine based upon your application. You can see some of the other examples of different types of cutoffs that we have, and they all marry up with this system. It's fully pneumatic, so you only need compressed air. The only time there's electronics involved is if we automate a system like this, where you have a conveyor system, indexing, at that point you need a control system. But this system is very simple, you just need compressed air and you can roll it anywhere. Essentially all we do is we take bulk product, we open the rotary valve, we draw product back into this piston, this chamber back here, and depending upon how we set the system, it'll change the speed in which we move that product and how much product is held in that chamber. So, once it's set, we'll act activate the machine, draw product into that cavity, initiate it with that foot switch, the valve will then open, releasing product down into our cutoff device. From there, cutoff device will activate and go into your container. We can do it semi-automatically with the foot switch or automated, depending on your application. But here in the lab, this is what we have. Uh, we can handle anything from oils, creams, various liquids like that, up to the cutoff is about a peanut butter viscosity. Even with the peanut butter, sometimes that's a case-by-case -case basis. So that's the point of having the test lab. Send in whatever you have, we'll evaluate it, we'll put it through our machine, take a look to see how efficient it is, how accurate it is, and how fast we can do it. The final piece of equipment we have here in our lab is our 100E. It's a vibratory filler, it's semi-automatic, it's 110 volts. It's a standalone system that at least gives us proof of concept with most products. Depending upon your containers, we have various different accessories we can use to try to size and dispense your product into your container, such as a round nozzle or of a chute for a smaller bag. This system can accommodate all sorts of free-flowing, irregular shaped particles. That can be anything from potato chips, snack foods like popcorn that's already popped, corn kernels, whole bean coffee, ground coffee, all sorts of candies, pre-wrapped candies like taffy, uh, all the way down to dental applications where individual items are pre-wrapped for hygienic purposes and we're batching out bulk cases of them. Bullet casings, you name it, it's a very flexible line of equipment. This unit here is very simple. It gives us the ability to have proof of concept that your product will be able to run on our equipment. Uh, whether that's a larger system that has multiple lanes, that's all to be determined based upon the testing that we do here. Figure out how fast we can move your product and how accurately we can move it here. And any accessories that may be needed for your application. Uh, system relies on a bulk infeed of product, a consistent infeed of product, a reliable bed depth of product across our pan. So basically the more irregular shape the product is, the more difficult it is to get a uniform, consistent, accurate weighing portion. So in addition to a single pan, we'll occasionally add another pan to string the product out and give us a nice uniform bed depth. It gives us the best chance at achieving a good accuracy. So consistent infeed, 
uh, uniform bed depth across the vibrating pan into our weighing platform, our, our uh, weigh bucket. This rests on a load cell. We program it in the software to dispense product across that vibrating pan into that weigh bucket until it sees your target, whether that's in pounds, grams, ounces, whichever. At that point, it waits for an initiation signal. In here in the lab, it's semi-automatic, so it waits for a foot switch initiation to dispense product out through one of these accessories into your container. Sending in samples is the best way for us to verify your application is going to work with this type of equipment. And it allows us to identify what type of custom accessories you may need to get the product into your container at rate and at the accuracy you're looking for. So this is a blank example of one of the test data sheets that you're gonna get with any sample that you send in. If the sample's too small to run a full formal test, what we'll do is we'll make a visual evaluation, look for any issues that may come up with your application or different characteristics that we're gonna to have to accommodate for. But when we're sent bulk product enough to do a reliable, repeatable test, you're gonna see one of these lab test sheets for every fill size and product that you decide to send. Usually a video will accommodate it if it's requested by the salesman, and I'll make a decision to add some video, even if it's not requested by the salesman, if I come across anything interesting about your application that I wanna document. So really what you'll see is your company name, the salesman you're working with, the product that I'm dealing with, the container that it goes in, some information about the density and the target weight that we're looking for, uh, the tooling setup that I used, what, if it's uh, related to that type of machine. This is built for our auger filler. We modify it for our vibratory filler and our piston filler. So sometimes this information is not filled out. It'll give you the number of samples, the mean, the maximum, minimum range, and various other statistics uh, regarding the accuracy of the test that we performed. It's also going to give you a timeline as far as dispense time and a rough estimate on containers per minute. And then any additional notes as well as a graph layout of all of the cycles that we tested your product. So you can see the linearity of the testing. Uh, you've seen the equipment that we have available to test with and the capabilities that we have. If you have any questions or looking for more information, make sure you check out the test lab section of our website or give us a call at 610-524-7350 and ask to speak with a salesman.